Sausages. Onions. Bacon. Nuts. Avocado. <laughs> Onions. <laughs> Tuna. Indians. Cucumber. Apple. And that's how you make a perfect lunch. A simple sausage, bacon, cucumber, artichoke, tuna, triple onion sandwich. This game's about food, right? Yeah, I think you become food. Like a superpower, like farm off burger. This doesn't help me. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Subnautica. Survival, freedom, well, hardcore seems like a great way to start, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a nice skull there. I guess survival is what you're supposed to do. I feel like hunger and thirst are gonna be annoying, but I believe in you. Unknown Worlds presents the patron game of the week. Oh god, I'm in a, in a seat. Why am I lodging? Oh, you've got... What? I feel like we're missing a lot of context here. Why did the other harness wiggle at me? I want to get off this ride. Do they just explode? I don't think this is what's supposed to happen. I feel like these are not made for whatever's happening. I right was now. told this game was an ocean. Oh my god. Fucking game over. Did, I see it? Did we just get absolutely blagger blanked? That's a word I'm trying to make happen. It's like what Blangonga does to people. <laughs> I'm Blangonga. I'm Blanger Blanging. Woohoo. Monkey noises. I mean, I feel like at minimum you have a concussion right now. All right. I'm, I'm in the world. Pick up the fire extinguisher. That seems useful for getting rid of the fire. I didn't actually think about that, but it is really good for the, the fire. I just wanted a fire extinguisher. <laughs> are we safe? Well, I mean, the fire is gone. What are you looking? It's just a blank. Oh, okay. It wasn't started yet. My bad. Is that a big flying? Oh. It's not a big flying. Like, so it wasn't that big. I, yeah, I think it was a close flying. Wow. Oh, our ship has uh, died. Zero human life signs detected. I don't like the human part of that. Wait, 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 wait. I've got this. See? Fire's gone. All good. You're welcome, Aurora. Oh, this is awful. This is so awful. This is absolutely... What the fuck is that? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the latest patron game. Every couple weeks or so, all of the patrons get together and suggest any single game under creation. And then votes. And then we must play the winner. And Subnautica is indeed the winner. Two facts for you. The first, if you want to get involved in that, vote and suggest and, you know, also support the channel and keep us going. It is very much appreciated and something you can do at the link down below. And, yeah, thank you. The second fact is that Subnautica, since the inception of Patron Game of the Week, every single time has come either second, third, or fourth place, but never won. Until now. Damn, you think those votes would add up over time, you know? <laughs> That's not how it poll works! No, I, think, I think it should be. So this is the most consistently requested game that has never quite won until now. So, uh, now I should tell you all that I have quite the case of uh, Thassalophobia. So this is perhaps the single worst game in all Explain of Explain what it means for the silly people. For for me, the fear of, of, of deep sea and the unknown and creatures and, and water and it's not... So essentially everything this game stands for is a deep primal terror to my entire psyche. So thanks for that, guys. Really appreciate that. I don't know if the patrons have any control over this, but I think they should put me in, in control if we do another one of these so that you have to live with my terrible decisions and experience the fear <laughs> firsthand. <laughs> It's okay, it's just it's just water. But I have to believe the game's not gonna angry murder you within twenty seconds. I like your scuba mask. But like like you know in all I'm those surprised. games where you can swim out to sea and then like a shark eats you to stop you going too far? That's like one of the worst yeah. things. Like you know, the worst well, things. Well this is the like world. the opposite of that, right? Like this is the game where it does this to you. Giant coral tubes! How is that a giant coral tube? I think it's the whole tube that you're inside. I think it's what you're inside. Oh, it's the whole ass tube. Swim to the surface? Yes, sir. Oxygen. Oh, yeah, you're down to six. Whatever you say, sir. Straight away, sir. Oh, God, I'm so far away from safety. I don't like that at all. All right, I'll watch your oxygen for you. It's only 40 meters. That's not far. That's only approximately 20 knees. Ah, what just happened? You went back in the water. But I just rocketed over the ship. Did you see that? I feel like you just want to spend all of your time in here. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm good to go back in here now. Thank you very much. Where do I get a repair tool from? The repair tool, please. Oh, nutrient block, flare, filtered water. Storage, storage on the right. You got storage. Yeah, so I've got some. Oh, uh, at the top, there's like a little tool menu. Ah, oh, here we go. Repair tool. Uh-huh. Silicone, rubber, cave sulfur, 
and titanium. Okay. Battery and titanium. So where do we get this stuff from? I assume it's going to be in the ocean. So I think I want to go to this little... little yeah, try interacting with This it. seems like it's got things in it. I like these little eye fish. There. Oh, yeah, the cargo The thing. thing is, it's ironic because I love, like, ocean life. I, I think it's great. Aquarium is one of my favorite things. I have a lot of respect and admiration for deep sea creatures half oxygen i just don't want to be anywhere near them in a kind of they can touch me environment well yeah especially in an environment where you're at such a disadvantage because like we're not made for water why are you saying this? i'm, I'm saying it's a reasonable fear to have sometimes get to the surface don't you're supposed to be a lame <laughs> why did you do like get to the surface you idiot why aren't you at the surface right now oh my god what, what, oh that's the escape pod it looked like an octopus or something don't say that i my heart <laughs> i genuinely <laughs> just had a heart palpitation oh. You be careful, sir! I love Heart Palpatine. It's my favorite version of the Emperor. What is that? Is that alive? I, I want to... Yeah, I think it is, and I think we should look at it. It doesn't look dangerous right now. It's just going. I mean, it made, like, whale noises, so maybe it's cool. I mean, I think it's cool. It's like a like a, like a, a mushroom... Giant mushroom squid. Oh, yeah, and it's got, like, stuff oh, on. It's, it's just growing on it. Oh, you picked some stuff up? Look at that. Regress shell. Oh, I love regress shells. Half oxygen. Thanks, UI cotton. No problem. Well, my only concern is it taking me away into the abyss where I don't want to go. Well, so. I mean, you can always just live with that thing forever and never go back to the ship. I know nothing about this game, really. All I know is that Hollow absolutely loves it. Yeah. Like, he played it to absolute death. I know that. I remember and that. And has always recommended it. But obviously, given my sheer terror of being in open water with dangerous creatures around me, I've never played it myself. And I have to wonder what the scope is and how, I just... how dangerous, deep, and large everything gets. I just struggle with games that have, like food and water bars because like i just want to explore you know don't limit me with with making me d d receive sustenance it's nighttime now i guess i'll be real with you it didn't occur to me that there would be a nighttime in this game in hindsight it's quite like a duh moment that there would be it didn't occur to me that there would be i feel like you're uh, you're ready to veto this at this exact moment <laughs> I am not going anywhere near the ocean while it is nighttime. Well, there's, uh, is that the name of your escape pod? Is it Principal? <laughs> I have a feeling that they would be mean and put, like, nocturnal only danger, danger fish. Well, maybe maybe they'll have, like, uh, luminescent stuff, too, so you can actually see. I feel like you would just be like, hell yeah, cannonball! Well, I mean, my first thing is try and figure out if there's a flashlight button, but other than that, yeah, it's right in. I mean, day didn't last too long, so probably night won't, right? Well, you probably didn't uh, come in at like 6 a.m. at the start of the game, so I feel like... Excuse that's me? That's creepy. I'd rather be underwater, Jesus Christ. Yeah, what is that? Why well, do I feel like it's gonna like open its eyes and grin at me? I don't, I don't like I don't like that. That is utterly unsettling. And why is it deepest... moving so fast? Yeah! Oh my god! Why? I've just had a, a brilliant concept that I'm sure people have said about this game for ages. Imagine if this isn't like a water planet and you're, you're just like in a, in a small like lake but you don't realize it. That would be so funny! You just don't realize it. If it's like just beyond the horizon line on every side but you just convinced it's a water planet. I think maybe we should check out the big ship. I mean, it's blasting with radiation. I feel like going over there is, is death. Is it? Do you know that for sure? We just literally got a whole thing about how there's radiation there's radiation everywhere, man. It's it's just it's just a thing that happens. It's just life. It's just radiation. Just get let's get in the water. Let's just get in the water. It's like a band aid. Look at that. It's actually pretty bright still. Okay. Like I really can't stress this enough, guys. Like I, like, this might be a weird way to describe it, but my heart feels like it's twice as big as usual. Well, if you swim to the surface, maybe it'll shrink a little bit. There like, I, it feels like it's trying to escape my chest. Like, I'm... <gasps> okay. Now, this isn't even really designed to be a horror game, as far as I'm aware. It's just an underwater uh. survival game. But, oh, my God. Ah! Oh, it was just the cat. The cat brushed my leg. Oh, okay. The cat brushed my leg. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. You, know you, you brush the cat, the cat brushes you. Can anybody show me some little yellow... Oh, is it those things? Maybe. They oh, look yeah, like maybe. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, those look like yellow balls. Yeah, yeah there we it. go. But also, I don't like giant kelp stems. That seems like something that, uh... Oh, inventory full. <laughs> Maybe one of our million acid mushrooms. Really don't need that many acid mushrooms. Just if, I, <laughs> if I had feed little fishies, <laughs> I want to die. No, you don't. That's the whole point. Why would you make me play this game? Well, I didn't. I'm just, I'm just here, like, experience, like... 
Oh, the first time I encounter something that actively tries to kill me, I am literally going to pass out. I don't I don't even know what my role here is. Like I'm just watching you torture yourself and just like I'm trying just to be funny. You like, torture I don't yourself. I don't know what this, I don't know what this is. Like I <laughs> You're enjoying it. I mean, it's, it? it's fine, but it's like, I'm just like, I, I should say funny things, and then I do, and then you sound like you're about to die, and it's just like, what do I do? <laughs> I don't understand. Where do we get cave sulfur from? Uh, well, I could give one guess there. Survival knife. You can make a knife, man. Knife, man. That's such a terrible superhero. <laughs> I've got knives. All I do is stab people. <laughs> That's a fancy-ass survival knife you just made there. I feel like we could have used less materials for that. Okay, so, yeah, we just need to go find a cave and get... Uh, this coppery stuff. It's just cop copper and sulfur. That's what we need. Stab it. Stab it. I, I do want to stab it. How do I... I want to stab a fish. Maybe you got to be stealthy. How do we... Stealthy? I'm a swimming... I'm a swimming man. Get, get one of the slower things. Like, down at the bottom right under you. Oh, I do enjoy this increased swim speed, though. Yeah, that's, that's definitely helpful. Especially, I feel like that helps your your concept of the ability to run away if you need to. Oh, what is that? that is oh, so there's quartz. Cool. We need. We need, we need oh my it. god! It explodes. That rock just gave birth to a suicide fish. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? That uh, uh, stalker. It says stalker when you look at it, or is that the plant? What the hell is that? Some sort of like eel crocodile. Yep. Ah! Oh my god! Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh, Why? Like it's, Why it's, is it's, this like in the game? Who needs this? Nobody needs. Wait, nobody even use for this. Oh my cool. god! The garbage animal. Oh my oh, Jesus! This, 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 this oh, little man. guy with a long. He's just got a long face. It's just a long face. Oh, okay. His face is just long. Ooh. He's got. He's got a Pinocchio nose. It's just a fish. Shut up. It's a big fish. I'm uh, I'm thinking this isn't going to go very well because I feel like that's pretty low class on the on the dangerous thing meter. Why would you say that? I just, I just think that was just a big fish. It was trying to actively kill me. It's just a big like there's there's gonna be big there's always a bigger fish as Qui Gon said. Look, if I just wait on this little submersible for nine 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 hours, I will be rescued. And everything will be fine. All right, I guess we better start then. All right, okay. Um, I guess time skip. I'm starting to think that maybe we're not actually going to get rescued. No, the number, they're just finding what? a driver. Why can't I pull out a fish? Why can't you just pull out the fish? Why can't I just pull it's out It's also the still fish? alive for some reason. It's not yeah. even in the water. Why is it alive? Why can't I just... Maybe you can use it to bargain with the bigger fish. Still need bloody copper ore. More caves it is, then. No. Why would I want to go back into a cave? Well, we don't have to go back into that cave. That cave didn't have copper. But they probably live in caves. It's not like a coincidence. They weren't just on holiday. They weren't having lots, a little fish break, were they? They live in that cave. Lots of things live in caves. There'll be different things living in different caves. This is the worst. This is the worst experience. This is the worst experience in the I world. I mean, maybe, maybe copper ore isn't, isn't in caves. We could look elsewhere first. Though you should probably get rid of some inventory space first. I just think you don't need to be walking around with um, uh, 15 acid mushrooms. Well, you never know when you might need some acid mushrooms. It just back. seems like you're trying to... Uh, if I get attacked by something, I can just have some acid mushrooms and then, you know, just just forget about it. Yeah, I was going to say, it feels like you're just using them to try to have an escape from this world. Well, we probably do want the scanner, right? Seems like a logical thing. Oh, so you can get blueprints ah, from technology and record nice. biological. So how are we doing blueprints wise? Do we have anything new, fancy? I mean, eventually we do want to get the habit, but like getting a computer chip and a wiring kit, that seems... Yeah, that feels a bit down the line to me. Seems optimistic here in the deep blue sea. So what should our current objective be? I think now you want to scan technology and then see what blueprints we can get and what's worth making. Our it's just like the wreck stuff down. It's just night. It's fine. It's just a weird planet. No, because now I know there's dangerous fish nearby. That's so much worse. Only in, only in the cave. You don't know that. They might have left the cave. They'd be like, oh, there's a free little human snack swimming around the place. Man, you said it. You said it. You said it yourself. Those things live in the cave. Yeah, do you never leave your... Well, that's, you're a bad example, actually. But most people leave... I'm not a fish. People aren't fish. I don't care what most people do. These are fish. People aren't fish. At night, they probably fucking sleep. Rabbit Ray. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I do like that. I love discovering animals and learning uh, stuff about that's them. that's nice. Ears. 
I'm glad that it doesn't deplete our. Oh, it does deplete our oxygen while we're looking at them. Never mind. Oh, okay. That's so mean. Let me investigate the creatures without needing to breathe. I do like that the reward for being a brave boy at night is all the irrelevant resources start glowing. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, okay? This is a really difficult time. I'm just happy you're such a such a brave boy. I am having the worst, the worst. This doesn't need to be happening the way that it is. These are choices we've made with our lives. Well, I thought I could handle it, okay? You're handling it. That one's a bladder. Look, that's not scary. Ah, every time Oxygen. that beep comes up, I feel like it's death detected. No, it didn't warn you about the fish, though. So we've scanned some fish. Does that actually do anything for us? It tells you, it tells you about them. So, like, the, you learn about the bits that you could probably use to craft things. Exploitable in bleach fabrication. Ah, so you can make bleach with coral. Coral tube sample. Oh, I can make filtered with... Yeah, there you go. A bladder fish. Okay, that's nice. We're learning blueprints. Salt cured... Cured, Gary Fish. He's been cured. Gary Fish, you're cured! I thought I would die. Grav trap fragment. Yeah, that seems interesting. Ooh, overall progress. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that one's an objective. Might just lead to important things. How do I take a sample of coral tube? Ah! You know, that makes sense. We could have been gathering so many different things. So what did I need this for? Those are for bleach. I don't think you need that right now. Well, if I make some bleach, I can end it all. You've got a knife. That's a lot more violent, isn't it? So. There's also some d some deadly fish in there, I hear. Do you like my floater? Oh, if you take that out when you're underwater, do you think it makes it like like surface faster? Oh, let's try. No. Aww. I was really excited. That was a really good idea. That would have been so cool. That's, that's a trick. That's a miss trick. That's a that's a tricky missy right there. It is really. It really is. Classic bit of tricky wissy. Ah. Crew reporter. It's only like most of a kilometer away. So that's how we can get the sea glide, I assume, by sea gliding our ass over there. Meeting up with them, probably. I need water. Seek fluid intake. That's the issue. I need to go get some bladder fish. Tell me if you uh, see any bladder fish. I don't know what the bladder fish look like. They were like little hearts, little sideways hearts. There they are. Oh, in front of you? The, the, yeah, 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 the purple one. Tell me, you little bastard. I'm gonna turn you into water. <laughs> Literally. I'm gonna squeeze you with fluids and then I'm gonna drink you. So interesting. I mean, look, despite myself. You, you just show up to the people on the sea glide just chugging out of these bladder fish. <laughs> yeah, just chugging a bladder fish. Like, hey. Like, I call them, I call them bladder fish. I drink from them. No, it's not weird. <laughs> We're just transforming this poor fish into an actual bottle of water. Are you like recycling its skin into plastic? Like, how is that working? I feel like that's exactly what's happening. All right, well, 800 meters that way. It's just 800 meters. Yeah, I'm sure there won't be anything dangerous in any capacity at all in this entire journey. Not if you go fast enough, which is, if you go... Oh, yeah, yeah, what if I swim my ass fast enough? Uh, so stick to the surface. No, because if I'm on the surface, all that means is I can't see what's about to kill me. Yeah, I guess. But sometimes that helps. Oh, you, you, do you just get to sit, sit there looking pretty, watching me go through and what, one of my ideas of actual hell you know, making little little why remarks like it ain't no thing. I Meanwhile, I'm just over here struggling. Oh, I mean, this is just how it is when we play horror. I hope games. you're happy. I hope you're happy. Okay. I'm not really. I mean, this isn't really an enjoyable experience for for me either. Wow, that's so mean. I am trying my best. I'm just saying, like, it's not like I'm like, oh yeah, look at how much pain he's in. This is great. I really dislike the oxygen. What is that? I I can't tell what it is from here. It's just a thing. You need to get with the program. This is this is hell. We're literally in hell, okay? And you're treating it like a lovely little hot, tropical vacation. They just look like turtles to me, man. They are horrifying. It's like a turtle dolphin. Tur turtle manatee. They're like little manatee things. Gasopod. Yeah, look, it's not even threatened. It's just I weird. Mean, the gas is threatening. No, it does shoot out gas. I don't think that. I think that's just like stay away from me. Not like it's actively trying to kill you. Yeah, I don't think they're like predators. Yeah. so that's okay. Well, I mean, have you seen their face? I don't think they're predators at all. I mean, their face is kind of terrifying, if I'm real with you. Oh, uh, we're getting close. So, I can't wait to find out what it is that... You, man, that, you traveled 800 meters underwater. That clearly killed them all. But they'll probably have free stuff. You not even get in that way? How do I get in? Is there another way? Well, I guess this... Oh, no, it wasn't going to be here, was it? I just realized that I think we misunderstood the message. This was the location of their pod, but they were taking the sea glide to the rendezvous point, which we don't know where it is. So why did it want me to do that? I have no idea. That's so interesting. Do I have another objective? Maybe it's just didn't think that you would do that before you got to that. Okay, well this was so far less eventful than I expected it to be. But in theory they're somewhere now, so we know there's people. I imagine they're very dead, given that they've got a hole ripped in their submersible. Well, they took the sea glide 
away from there to the rendezvous point. Well, no, because they were trying to fix the sea glides. They probably didn't even get a chance to fix it. Is that the sea glide then? Is that what the escape pod's called? Have we been confused? We'll figure it out once we get back home. We'll see in the future. You know, not surrounded by the worst everything. Fish. Sea glide fragment. Yeah, that's what we were missing a little bit of, I guess. Ah, overall progress, one out of two. Sea glide fragments. So if we find two sea glide fragments, yeah. then we can probably make a sea glide. Yeah, I wonder if they were supposed to be on the way to where that was. Like, that was them trying to get us to look for them. We're a bit close to the ship there, are we? Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 just a little flip. He's just a friendly guy. He's just, he's just doing What does flips. he have in his mouth? I don't know. Maybe they aren't, like... Actively trying to hunt you so much as you just got too close to the other ones. Oh god, it's going nighttime. Yeah, but we're close. Oh, why is it so quick? What the hell? See, I don't like that moment where it turns there because it's like it just goes way darker for a moment and then gets brighter again. Also, I'm being actively chased by one of the death dealers. I don't think they're really chasing you though. I think you're fine. He's heading in my direction. Yeah, but you're maybe it's just it's just a coincidence. It's like when you think someone's following you in a car, but they're actually just going to the same place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is that, is that what's happening? Yeah. Clunt negation will occur within two hours. Maybe we're supposed to go there to stop it? Because I feel like if that detonates, you're dead. The ship might explode and kill everything is what I'm generally worried about. I'm thinking it either wants us to go to the ship and stop it from exploding or get further away from the ship than we are. Now that we're crafting some sort of vehicle, I feel like the ultimate test to get over your fear would be to just get in the water and use it until the battery dies. In what insane universe would I ever be like, yeah, that seems like a really great idea. I didn't think you would want it to be, I didn't think you'd think it'd be a great idea. I'm, I'm just saying that would be the way to conquer your fear. And then, sea glide. Nice, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so much better. So should we go investigate the ship? Is that yeah, I think so. stop it from exploding? I think the worst that'll happen is, is if it doesn't want us to go there, it'll tell us as we get closer. Oh, there's lights on it. You don't even need yeah, a flashlight if you've got this. Oh, and a map. What the hell? Okay, that. How did you make that with what you had? Why is it pointing this out to you then? I'm not going anywhere near a 90 meters depth cave. That's hilarious. I mean, you think I would act on that information? I think this is this game is the very antithesis of what you want to do because it wants you to want that. It doesn't want you to be afraid of that. It wants you to want to explore that. Yeah, I'll be honest. I uh, I don't think I have it in me. I don't think I have it in me to go to any of the ship. I feel like something awful is gonna gonna get me. Well, I mean, the water's getting blurry, so at least it'll have trouble seeing you. I really hate you. Okay, yeah. I feel like we need some sort of radiation protection. Maybe. Because otherwise, we're just gonna radiofy ourselves. That's what that's what it is, right? Radiofy. Yeah, you radiofy yourself. Radiofy yourself. Is that an animal, or is it just coral reaching the top? It's just coral reaching the top. Okay, cool. It occurs to me that because this is this is like an alien planet, they don't have to like be like. Oh, well, um, time just moves really fast here, haha. But, like, this could actually just be a planet with, like, six-minute day-night cycles. Well, I mean, you saw how fast the fucking moon was moving. I imagine that's exactly it. Hey, it's underwater Stonehenge. That'll be real Stonehenge in a hundred years. Well, they could always move it, you know. <laughs> I just pick up the rocks, put them somewhere else. Why someone thought about that, yeah? I, I don't see the problem. Well, we've got a new message, so this this will tell us what we need to do. A new do. massage? Oh, if we could build a massager in here... Oh, imagine. Yeah, that just never get up. What do you got for me? Oh, another one. Quick, you specified that you're from the cafeteria. You know, there's other one. There's Ozzy from the, from the bridge. There's, there's Ozzy from the diving team. Grim looking snake thing? I'm not going anywhere near that. Are you insane? Game. Well, well, it's not an appealing thing to say. This isn't working for you. I think is where, is where I'm at with this. <laughs> How do you have zero fear of the open ocean? I do in real life. My brain is just very capable of, of separating uh, fiction from reality, which is why horror games make me laugh. Quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive gear. I think it might be exploding. Well, we are further away from it than we were, so maybe we'll be safer here. This is bad, uh, right? fast. I, I, I don't feel like this is what we wanted to happen, but I don't know how we could have avoided it. Yeah, that seems pretty bad. Oh my god! How is there not a massive wave about to hit us? Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh no! Oh okay. I just love that you died. Okay. Well I'm alive again. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh that's my first awful experience in Subnautica with all of its awful awfulness. Look, objectively it's Clearly a very well done survival game and the whole underwater Seems vehicle cool. is really cool, like compared to the normal you're in a forest, etc. etc. Yeah. But ah 
Oh my god, my heart has been at like uh, 200 BPM this entire time. That's a good song. Oh, 200 BPM this entire time. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's my hit. It's just a really long song that's at exactly 200 BPM. It's my hit single. Oh, you're single? I will only uh, I'll only punch single people. So. Well, uh, I'll get running then. <laughs> uh, I love that this just exploded and then it was like, anyway. Yeah, it seemed like it was going to be a lot more eventful than it was. Okay, well, let us know if you'd like more of this, and uh, maybe we'll uh, alternate who's in control for my sanity. That might be nice. That might be fun. I, I feel like while that would help you, it would also be very dangerous. I don't like to move unnecessary parts of my body when wielding a knife. Oh, yeah, no. Um, what, what are you doing? <laughs> That's it. That's how you knife. <laughs> this is knife mastery right now. Also, what is your hair? You've yeah, got like a mohawk. Do I have a seahawk? All right, guys. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is, uh, goodbye.